On this Sunday of the Ascension, the Church offers us the opportunity to meditate on the sacred message contained in the Gospel according to Matthew, specifically verses 16 to 20 of chapter 28. These words remind us of the fundamental mission that Jesus entrusted to his disciples on the day of his ascension. But how can we be touched by this account and find deep meaning in our lives today? When we consider the context of the encounter between Jesus and the disciples, we can identify with them. They were in Galilee, on the mountain that Jesus had indicated to them. They saw Jesus, prostrated themselves, but at the same time, they had doubts. These doubts and uncertainties are experiences that we also encounter in our own life of faith. At that precise moment, Jesus approached them and spoke words of incredible significance, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. These words remind us that Jesus is the ultimate sovereign, possessing divine authority. He invites us to place our trust in Him, to surrender our doubts, fears, and uncertainties to Him. Whatever situation we may be going through, we can be assured that Jesus holds supreme power. But Jesus does not stop there. He gives His disciples an extraordinary mission that still resonates in the lives of believers today. He says to them, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. These words call us to action, to share the good news of the Gospel with those around us. We are called to be witnesses of God's grace and love, to be instruments of transformation and reconciliation in our world. But how can we fulfill this mission? How can we persuade and touch the hearts of others? Jesus assures us of his constant presence, and behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. This comforting promise reminds us that we are not alone in our journey of faith. Jesus is with us, guiding, supporting, and strengthening us. It is his presence that gives our testimony unmatched strength and authenticity. Dear brothers and sisters, as we meditate on the account of the Ascension, we are invited to renew our commitment to the mission entrusted to us by Jesus. Let us know that we can rely on His power. On this day, let us turn our gaze to the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Heavenly Mother, witness of the Ascension and Mother of the Church. Let us implore her intercession to have total availability to the will of Christ and to respond generously to His mission. Mary, a model of faith and humility, embraced the Word of God with confidence and responded fully to His call. She is our precious intercessor, presenting our prayers to her beloved Son. May Mary obtain for us the grace to receive the power of the Holy Spirit so that we may proclaim the Gospel with courage and conviction. May she assist us in being authentic witnesses of Christ's love and instruments of transformation and reconciliation in our world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.